Hey guys, what's up, and welcome to this tutorial. Um, sorry I've been away from the computer for a while. I've uh, kind of been busy, and uh, I've had a lot of computer problems, but all that aside, I'm trying to get back into it. Um, anyway, I wanted to do a little Photoshop tutorial real quick and, guy and show you guys a really cool um, effect that could come become really, really useful. Uh, right here we have an image that as you can see, has a lot of lines and uh, uh, watermarks that are put over the image, and it can be really, really annoying, especially um, for big, uh, you know, compositions that you're making, big, um, big projects, and you need, you know, a certain image, and there's, you know, there's only like one variation of the image, and you can't really find any more of them, and it just happens that that image has humongous watermark all over it, and uh, it's, you know, you can't really use it, and you're pretty much well what do I do? Um, and I'm just going to be sh basically showing you how to uh, to fix that problem, how to how to get around that the best way possible. Um, and we are doing this in Photoshop, so if anyone was wondering. Okay, so first of all I'm going to make this a layer by just double clicking on the background. It's just a picture, so I'm just going to double, layer, uh, double click and it'll ask me to make a new layer. You can call this layer whatever we want. We can call it um, Guy. <laughs> Alright, now we can fully operate this layer. It's very, very useful. Okay, so while on this layer, we're going to use the marquee tool, and I'm just going to real quickly get out, or get rid of this. So actually, I'll select, select this, and then uh, grab my color tool, change it to white, or the same background as this, and alt backspace, get rid of that. Okay, um, now, time to actually work on the image. I'm going to hit Z, and then zoom in just a tad so I can see it a little better. Okay, um, so the main tool that we're going to be using in this is um, well, there's two tools, two two tools that you can use um, back to back or one or the other. Um, one works a little more effectively to get the little bits, and one works to get really big uh, set, uh, portions. Um, so this tool, the, these tools, the first ones. Um, the clone stamp tool. The clone stamp tool is a very, very useful tool. Basically, if you hold down, it's like a brush type thing. If you hold down Alt um, and click anywhere on the image, it'll basically duplicate that anywhere. And you could, you know, you could put it there. You could put it here. It'll basically just copy wherever uh, the mouse uh, pointer, the little cross is. Um, that's where it basically it'll copy and put down. Control C to get rid of that. Okay. Um, so that's the first tool. The second tool is uh, actually it's not really a tool; it's more of a trick. If you uh, use the marquee tool, and let's say I wanted to get rid of most of this, I can just select it, right-click on it, hit Fill, and it should say Content Aware. You want to, or if it doesn't say Content Aware, try to select it to Content Aware, and hit OK. might take a little bit. Hopefully it won't. Yeah, so as you see it kind of where it didn't really work here. Actually it didn't work at all. But it does work if we get like maybe a little bit. It worked a little better. See as you see it's kind of gone. Um, and that that's kind of how that tool works. I don't really like that tool because it's it kind of makes things uneven and you never it's never really definite on what you're going to get. Uh, that's why I kind of stick with the clone tool. Okay, so with the clone tool, or the clone stamp tool, we're going to use it. Um, it's just, it works just like a normal brush. You can use whatever brush you want, and uh, size and hardness is just the same. So a very, very time-consuming yet effective process. So let's try to do this. So hold down Alt. I'm actually going to zoom in a little more just so I can focus on this shirt right here. Um, grab the clone stamp tool. I'm going to make it a little smaller now. Um, hold down Alt. I'm gonna go real close to it, and then if you as you see, if I just you know paint real close, just like little blotches, it'll go away, and it'll follow exactly with that. So we just keep on doing that. You'll see it'll go away real fast. Um, be careful where you you know you select, because some places will work better than others, and you know, it can just be a whole different process. Some things will look good, some things won't. 
And this is basically all you have to do. Um, a quick tip, make sure that you don't or you know where the uh, cross is because sometimes you'll you know you'll be doing this and then this you know the cross will just get completely out and you'll end up you know painting white and you don't want that um, so just be careful like let's say I put it right here and I was painting and then it just went off and it started turning white and you're like well what just happened um, and that's basically from the the uh, pointer coming off where it's supposed to be so just make sure you uh, you know yeah, you don't do that, obviously. Um, so yeah. As approaching uh, finishing up, I just wanted to try the uh, the the content aware tool real quick, just to show you guys how to how it could work uh, in, a, in a situation kind of like this, where you have a text. Um, it works best on you know text or getting rid of watermark or text watermarks, um, and you don't not, uh, technically have to use the rectangular marquee tool you can use any way any form of making a selection so I think the best way for me is to make a pen tool and make it rectangular just like that since this is diagonal this is the best this is what I like to do to make it a diagonal marquee that's not a little farther there we go all right right click uh, make selection selection okay and then uh, use the, make sure you're on the selection tool, right click, fill, content aware. There we go. As you see, it's pretty much gone and blended in perfectly. And th that can basically, it would, that saves you a lot of time. And that's, it's a great tool, it just only works in certain occasions. Um, so, you know, don't use it, don't go crazy with it. And uh, that's pretty much it. As you see, pretty much finished. I cut everything out uh, just with that one tool. Uh, the whole process, I paused the, the video, the whole process took me about 10 minutes, 10 minutes at the most, and it should probably take you 10 to 15 minutes, um, depending on uh, how new you are with the with the clone stamp tool and how, how you know, new you are with Photoshop in general. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want to take this and you know put it onto a PNG, the best way I would do it, or the way I would do it would uh, take the magic wand tool, select, and it should select everything, not white here, we need to hold shift and get these little pieces down, just like that, and then uh, uh, go to layer, or no, select inverse, or shift control I, and then uh, control X, as you see most of it will get out. And then uh, Control N for new. We'll make this one transparent. And then uh, there we go, perfectly, just like that. Uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, you know, you might have to, you know, sharpen up the edges a little bit. Uh, but other than that, it's a pretty good cutout. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you have any other questions, please comment and uh, don't forget to rate this or like this video. No such thing as rating anymore. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. I'll be trying to put out more videos soon. I've, had, I've come up with a lot of ideas. This next year is going to be pretty easy for me. It's the last year before I go, to, uh, go off to college. So I uh, should, I want to try to make it as laid back as possible. Try to make many more videos to come. As you know, my website is down. So I'm not going to, and I'm not, probably not going to revive it. It's something that is in the past and there's no real point for it. I went... I spent way too much time on it, and there was no real point to it. I, the only real point of a website is to exploit more of your content, and there's not more much content left for me to exploit other than what's already on my YouTube channel. Um, so, other than that, that's pretty much it. So there's no real point for it. Uh, but I will m try to make a forum. I, I think I do have a forum somewhere online, and I, or maybe I don't. Maybe it was online, and I got or taken down my website. I don't know, but I I will try to work on that. For, try to work on a forum sometime soon. I don't know how it's gonna work. I'll, I'll I'll try to figure something out. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, I will talk to you guys later. Bye.